Today we are going to discuss about the classification of insect. Why we have to classify insect? Before that we should have to know what is insect. Insects are any of a group of small and often winged animals that are arthropod having six jointed legs and body formed of a head, thorax and abdomen of true flies that is insects. Example flies, bees, flies, butterflies are coming under the insects. Why we are going for the classifications of the insects? It is important to be able to identify different group of species, insect species with a large number of insect species in this world. It is critical to have a system for organizing them. So, classification involves grouping organisms into a series of hierarchical categories. Why we are going for the hierarchical categories for grouping of insect groups? Classification involves grouping organisms into a series of hierarchical categories that is kingdom, phylum, subphylum, class, order, genus, group. Because of that only we are going for hierarchical order of classifications. The categories were first developed by Carl Linnaeus in the 18th century and have remained in common use ever since. So, this is the schematic skeleton of the classifications of the insect, phylum arthropoda, subphylum mandibulata, class insecta, two subclasses, a terigota and a terigota. The terigota has two divisions, exoterigota and endoterigota. Exoterigota, it included 16 orders. Among the 16 orders, Arthoptera, Isoptera and Hemiptera are the more, most important orders. In case of endoterigota, it included 9 orders. Among the 9 orders, there are 4 orders are important that is Lepidoptera, Diptera, Polyoptera and Hymenoptera. So, the general characteristics of the phylum Arthropoda are before to go to the go to see the general characters, we should have to know why they have given the name Arthropoda. Arthro means joint and poda is food. So, jointed foods because of that only the phylum they have mentioned it as a Arthropoda. The general characters included segmented body, segments groups into two or three regions known as tagmosis. Renewable chitinous exoskeleton, which grows, insect grows by molting, bilateral symmetry, body cavity filled with blood that is hemocyl, tubular alimentary canal with the mouth and anus, dorsal heart with ostia, dorsal brain with ventral nerve cord, striated muscles, no cilia, and the pair segmented appendages. These are the General common characters included in the phylum Arthropoda. This diagram shows the schematic diagram of the insects. The subphylum mandibulata, the mandibulate constitutes the largest and most varied arthropod groups. Mandibulata is a group of arthropoda characterized by mandibles that is nothing but the mouth parts used for biting, cutting and holding the food. Mandibles are diverse in form as their food. For instance, grasshopper and many other plant-eating insects have sharp-edged mandibles that move side by side. Butterflies and moth lack mandibles as they mainly feed on nectars from the flowers. So, the name mandibulate refers to the mandibles, that is our jaws, which are the characteristic features of its member arthropoda. The class insecta, it is otherwise it is called hexapoda. Because that body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. There is one pair of antennae and three pairs of legs. Both compound and simple eyes present in the class insect organisms. Respiration takes place with tracheal systems and excretion with malpigian tubules. They are the only flying arthropod. Class insect is divided into two subclasses that is A. terigota and terigota. A. Keriterigota, otherwise it is called A. Metala, A. Metabola. Here, A means absence of the wings. Metabola or Terigota means wings. They are primarily wingless insects. They have ectognathous mouth parts and also abdominal appendages. 
there is no metamorphosis during development and the juveniles are similar to adult in morphology as well as habit example silver fish spring tail camphodila are the some of the examples of the aterigota there are four orders in this group tysonura columbola motriura and diplura in case of terigota metabola winged insects they are winged insects are low last wings later in evolution mouth parts are endognathous abdominal appendages are absent metamorphosis either partial or complete with a pupal stages examples dragonfly grasshopper termites cockroaches comes under this terigota there are 24 orders within this groups these are the generalized classifications generalized as well as the simplified classifications of the class okay, insect order next class each order wise the detailed key character of identifications we will see thank you